Okay guys, so today we're going to be converting the shop light that uh, uses two T12 fluorescent bulbs. It's uh, just a standard shop light you find at the home store. Uh, I'm going to convert it to run two T12 LED hyper icon tubes. Uh, it's not as hard as you think. and. Um, it's actually pretty easy. Uh, you know, first thing you're going to do is you're going to unplug your light. Um, you're not going to want to work on it with power going to it. You're going to need a few tools, a uh, screwdriver for this particular light. Uh, I got some wire cutters. I got some wire strippers. I've got some tape here. I like to tape my connections. And you're going to need some wire nuts to make connections inside the light. So, first thing on this light is you're going to take the cover off to get to all the, the wires and then the ballast that you're going to eliminate. Pull the cover off. This exposes all the wires. Also, you got your ballast right here, and then you've got more wires, and then you got your connections that go to uh, the plug-in. Quick look inside the light here. Got your ballast right there. You got your wires, and like I said, here's your connections that go to the plug. So uh, they send instructions with the with the tubes, but really this is not difficult at all. Basically, if you want to make it easy on yourself, um, you take one side, connect it to the white wire on the plug. Take the other side, these wires, and you're going to connect them to the black wire going to the plug that runs outside. Very simple. Um, like I said, it's not as difficult as you might think, but uh, basically that's it. I'm going to snip the wires here, snip the wires here, remove this ballast completely out of the light, and like I said, I'm going to connect them just like I said. Okay, so all I'm doing now is stripping the wires, with my wire stripper to prepare them to be wire knotted together. I got a really nice wire stripper. You don't have to have one that fancy, but we're just, I'm just tying, like I said, one side into the white wire. Then we've got one side tied into the black wire. And then I'm taking some of my tape. I mean, you don't have to tape up your connections. I feel better knowing that they are secured and they're not gonna, not gonna move on me. Okay, so once all the, the wires are connected, like I said, one side to the white wire, the other side to the black wire. Very simple. Uh, make sure all your connections are secured. We're going to install some of the tubes before we put the cover back on. I just want to check to make sure everything's working. Uh, the ballast right here, I just cut it out. Don't need that no more. Uh, it's going to make the light a lot lighter without the ballast. And so I'm going to get the tubes. We're going to put them in here. We're going to see what it does. Okay. 
Okay, so moment of truth. I'll plug this in. And there we go. Uh, like I said it's not that difficult. Uh, I've gone with the uh, 5000K in the clear just to get maximum light output. Uh, you can get the frosted if you like that. But uh, I've gone with the clear. I'm going to go over the bench with it. Uh, I've already got a few in place. Going to look awesome. And that's it, guys. Like I said, it's not uh, too terribly difficult. Uh, I got to button the light up, put the cover back on, and get it hung up. And there's the final install. You can see I've got, well, we've got 16 feet of light there. It's actually four of the four foot shop lights that have been converted to LED. And it's amazing. I mean, it really is amazing the light output. That 5000K, really nice super white light. Uh, much better than the fluorescent bulbs ever did. I, I just love that 5000K. It's such a nice, crisp, white light. And it just makes everything else look better, too, uh, with that white light. Makes the tools really stand out. You can see them really well. Uh, what I ended up doing for this setup is we used to have two eight foot uh, lights up there and what I did was I, I gutted the, the two eight foot lights out and all I did was insert these uh, four four footers inside it. Uh, they fit, they really, actually they fit perfectly inside it so it was kind of a neat deal and just bolted it to that. And it worked out really well without having to remake my our mounts and stuff. Just use the existing fixture. So I guess that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Hopefully this helps some people out that are looking to convert their older lights to LED. Say I'll say it again. Said it many times before. It's not that hard. Uh, it's a win-win situation. Uh, you get better light and you're saving power. So win-win situation. Uh, I guess that's going to do it for this one, guys.